about push without a homer hanky this year's theme is we believe it's safe to say that fans believed in 1987 too when the hanky first came to be john lordson shares a story and the woman behind it we'd have the um radios blare and the, the games and stuff and so i just i loved baseball as a kid growing up in moorhead terry robbins never saw her beloved twins win a world series but when they got to the playoffs in 1987 she was the marketing director for the Star Tribune. I was in charge of getting more subscribers, keeping subscribers, single copy sales. Oddly enough, it was football and a funeral that gave her the idea for the Homer Hankey. She noticed that Pittsburgh Steeler fans had terrible towels. Then I saw some film about Peru and funerals, and they waved their little hank white hankies at funerals. It was a far cry from baseball, but it led to her iconic idea the Homer Hankey. Its original purpose was to help sell subscriptions for the paper. And Terry changed the words to this song, My Baby Does the Hanky Panky, when she pitched the idea to her boss. I said, so this would be changed to My Baby Waves the Homer Hankey, and he starts dancing in his chair. The White Hankies instantly became a hit during the first game of the 87 playoffs. My ball hit the deep left field. Gary Gaetti got up in the first inning and hit a home run, and the place exploded. And I looked at my best friend who was sitting next to me, and I, said, I just looked around and go, oh my God, it worked. As the Twins kept winning, the Hankies kept selling. People stood in line for up to three hours to buy them at the Star Tribune. They went around the block. We had to put out portable potties for them to go to the bathroom. When the team advanced to the World Series and played the Cardinals in St. Louis, owner Carl Polad let Terry fly with the team. They sold 2.1 million Homer Hankies that year and another 1.9 million during the 91 World Series. How fun it would be to see Terry's invention make a return trip after all these years. And all the people that helped make it happen, it was just incredible. It was. It was my 15 minutes of fame. It was just so wonderful. In Minneapolis, John Lordson, WCCO News. Terry says in 1987 and 1991, the Homer Hankey sold for a dollar and the limit was two per person.